Hey guys, if you support a creator code fusion here in your Fortnite item shop, I'd really appreciate it. If you leave a comment saying you've done it, I'll heart your comment. Hey what's going on guys, Fusion here and welcome to a new video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best recording settings for OBS Studio in 2019. So guys, before we hop into it, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. And let's hop into it. So guys, here we have OBS Studio. Now guys, this video is going to be OBS Studio settings. It is not going to be about the sources. If you guys do want to know how to add sources, I could make a whole new video. Let me know down below. Sources are just basically you capturing your game and stuff. Today we're going to be talking about these settings. So if we actually hop into settings here, you can click file, settings, or you can even go down to settings in the bottom right. The first setting I would change is right here. Theme will most likely be on default. This looks horrible. It looks just horrendous. Uh, it hurts your eyes. At least it does to me. So change that to dark or if you like one of the other settings you can too. And click apply. That is personal preference though. And next we are going to hop into the output tab. So now that we are in the output tab, all you guys want to do is click over to the recording tab and up here on the top output mode, you actually want to click that and change it to advanced from simple. So hopping down first setting type, you want to leave that on standard recording path. This is completely up to you. If you want to save it to a different hard drive, you want to save it to your desktop, whichever place you want to save your videos, just choose right here. This is where your videos will be stored. Generate file name without space. Do not check this. This is not useful. Next, recording format. I do recommend having your recording format be an MP4 as MP4 is basically supported by everything. So you should just choose MP4. Next, audio track. I actually use this a lot. This is really useful. So as you guys see down here, I have my desktop audio and my mic slash aux. So you can see I'm talking into my aux right now and here's my desktop audio. These are two tracks. So if you are going to be recording your mic and desktop audio, or you're gonna be recording your mic and music, whatever you will be doing, you want to select audio track and then select one and two because then when you actually go into your recording software you'll have the audio track for your desktop audio and your mic audio individually so you can adjust them separately it's a really useful feature and i recommend doing it guys you can go all the way up to six next we have encoder this is completely up to your computer guys so you guys can see these different settings in here if you guys don't know already recording does kind of take a lot out of your computer and it mostly does take a lot out of your processor your processor will most likely be called x264 so if you want to take the recording job on your processor select that and if you do want to take it on your graphics card then select like nvnc nvnc new or like another setting if you have an amd graphics card probably called amd Next, we have Rescale Output. This is good for mostly streaming. I don't know if people really use it for recording, but uh, for an example, let's say your monitor is 1920 by 1080, but you want to record a video in 720. You come here, you, you type in 1280 by 720, and check this, and your video will end up being in 720 quality. I don't use custom muxer settings, so I don't know anything about that. Next, we have Rate Control. So as you can see, we have CBR, ABR, VBR, and CRF. So CBR is called constant bit rate, and VBR is called variable bit rate. Variable means that your computer will try to keep at this bit rate, but it may go like down or whatever. It's like really whatever. Constant means it's always constantly gonna be at that bit rate. Bit rate is basically the quality of your video, how good it looks. If you guys have a good computer, I would set it to 5,000 or above. I actually might turn this up myself to 7,000 just because I think it would look a little bit better. And yeah, that's what uh, rate control and bit rate do. Bit rate is literally just the quality and rate control is how that quality is delivered. And I do not know what ABR and CRF are. I'm sure you guys can look it up though, but I'm showing you guys the best settings. CBR is definitely the best setting. Keyframe interval. I use two for this. You guys should use two. CPU usage. So even though my processor is very good, I still use a very fast. Basically, uh, if your processor is really bad, you want to select it 
all the way as high as you can go you know if you're if your cpu is really trash like two core like mine was you probably want to go on super fast or ultra fast if you have a pretty good processor like mine which is a six core you probably want to use faster or very fast now if you have like the best processor in the world that's like 16 core or whatever you can go on the slower ones i'm not really too sure what this does all i know is it puts the job a little bit easier on your processor and it might make the quality a little bit worse the higher you go but very fast seems to work really good for me profile you want to have on main tune you want to have none and x264 you want to have nothing so we're going to apply these settings right now and moving on to the audio tab so this really doesn't matter pretty much all you need here is to just put in the sample rate of your mic now you can figure out your sample rate for your mic by going here going to sounds this is on windows by the way going to recording going to your mic properties then going to advanced and then whatever quality is your mic selected on 48,000 is what mine is you want to come here and select the sample rate to 48 Hertz now if it does say like 41,000 you want to select 44.1 Hertz so I actually had it on the wrong one and I'll apply there and that's pretty much all you really want to do here that might make your voice sound a little bit better while recording and the rest of the settings are literally just up to how you want to have your computer you know your different audio sources stuff like that you can use the desktop audio device too for like music and stuff like that going on to video these are our video settings so we have the resolution and the output scaled resolution now this again if you are using that scaled feature that we looked at in output um, setting it down to a different quality you do want to type that in here in the scaled resolution uh, basically just have the scaled on both of those and then it, your video will be scaled down so now guys downscale filter is going to be the next setting now guys the three settings that are here are bilinear fastest but blurry if scaling by cubic sharpened scaling 16 samples and lanskos sharpened scaling 32 samples so guys it basically goes worst at top best at bottom I recommend using 16 samples if you guys are using the downscale filter like scaling down your screen to 720p do not select bilinear it will make your screen extremely blurry and your video will look horrible so I recommend using Bicubic or Lanskos if you have a really good computer. Next, we do have FPS. I mean, honestly, this is whatever you wanna set it to. If you want 30, 60, I recommend 60. And last would be Advanced. I wouldn't really change any of these settings, guys, besides uh, YUV color space, set that to 709, and YUV color range, set that to full. Anyways, guys, I think that can wrap it up here for this best settings tutorial. I hope I was very clear, guys. Just know that all the settings that I have are pretty much the best settings you can use, if not, like, almost the best. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Also, go drop me a follow on Instagram. I sometimes post on there or do an Instagram live or something. So it'd be cool if you guys could follow me over there. Anyways, guys, this has been Fusion, and I'll see you guys next time.